The African Union and the Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention now plans to roll out production of COVID-19 vaccines within the continent in what appears to be a response to the apparent disadvantage the African continent is suffering in global vaccine politics. South Africa, in partnership deal with Johnson & Johnson, says it is ready to produce 200 million doses, while Rwanda has initiated talks with Moderna and Pfizer over possible production of the two vaccines within Rwanda. Samogina has more. A meeting of the Africa Union and Africa CDC brought together Africa heads of states in a brainstorming session over the continent's preparedness or lack of it in combating COVID-19. First with what it described as vaccine nationalization and export restrictions on pharmaceutical products, Africa is feeling exposed, prompting the need to push for an African-based solution. South Africa and Rwanda have already taken bold steps towards manufacturing of COVID-19 vaccines within the continent. The two nations have entered into partnership deals with Johnson & Johnson to begin vaccine productions in their countries. The Aspen facility in South Africa, for example, will make some 220 million doses available following the African Vaccine Acquisition Task Team's agreement with Johnson & Johnson. There is a company that is capable of uh, this technique, just as Moderna and Pfizer have been doing, that is ready and willing, and we have been having these discussions. African nations have been receiving their vaccines through UNICEF in a partnership agreement with Gavi. But given COVID-19 ravaging the Western nations, European countries have limited exports and imposed bans of their vaccines, giving priority to their citizens. Vaccine equity cannot be guaranteed by goodwill alone. The whole idea is now how we can also have this type of capability on our continent. The World Health Organization has set up a COVAX manufacturing task force to boost COVID-19 vaccine supply and build sustainable manufacturing to support health security. The WHO boss is appealing to global pharmaceutical companies to share their know-how on vaccine production. The virtual AU meeting brought together the heads of states from Rwanda, South Africa, Congo and Senegal, with the WHO and the World Trade Organization bosses also attending. African nations are citing lack of capital, lack of standards quality for such products, technological challenges among other parameters as factors that have condemned the continent to lag behind in the vaccine production. Sam again, a citizen TV, Nairobi.